there is a very famous german saying which goes man's feelings are always purest and most glowing in the hour of meeting and of farewell today as i stand before you bidding farewell to my valuable colleague i have mixed feelings i am sad that i am losing the companionship of a great colleague and his support i am happy that he will be beginning a new chapter in his life in fact i am delighted to see a beaming justice bhushan in the company of members of his family my respects and greetings to the distinguished members of the justice bhushan's family apart from being a great judge he also has the distinction of being fine gentleman he is respected equally by both the bar and the bench for the humility with which he conducts himself deciding cases is not an easy task we not only have to focus on the law and the precedents surrounding the issues before us as well as the facts of the case but also the deprecations of what we decide and the precedent we make be setting this makes it necessary for us judges to be logical and objective and theoretical sound however we should not lose face sight of the people and their difficulties behind the cases the little distribution that is given to us is the area in which a judge has flexibility to display his philosophy it is justice bhushan's philosophy which sets him apart from everyone else this is bhushan with his remarkable judgments has not only left an indelible mark in the history of the indian judiciary but by virtue of being a humanist judge has also left a mark in the minds of and hearts of the people of india apart from the philosophy of a judge another important component of decision making is the bar as justice bhushan had said day before yesterday i quote relationship is like that of the sea and clouds unquote i must state lawyers also serve another important role the bar is the protector of the institution lawyers must respect the institution and they protect the judiciary from any onslaught which is likely to affect the functioning of the judicial system i know the supreme court bar is always a front runner when it comes to supporting the initiation from motivated attacks they always cherish contribution of judges and appreciate their hard work they never forget the efforts of judges the main reason this event was organized was for the bar to express their gratitude to justice bhushan i wish and hope all your cooperation and support to strengthen the system i know and understand your difficulties in these hard days but do remember the judiciary is always willing to extend their helping hand to the members of the bar a proper understanding between the bar and bench will help in resolving various issues we must remember in unity lies the strength lastly i would like to take this opportunity to wish brother ashok bhushan all the best in all his future endeavors on my behalf of and on behalf of my brother and sister judges i wish justice bhushan and his family a very happy and healthy life ahead thank you for giving this opportunity namaskar we are going to miss justice ashok bhushan and in bidding farewell to him one does not have to search far and wide for finding out all the good things one has to say about him now i have just recently read that chief justice dixon of australia had listed out the five qualities of a good judge the first one and i think this is the single most important one is integrity and so far as integrity is concerned one would not even have to ask a question so far as this is such a bhushan is concerned the second one is equanimity 
Now, many of the senior lawyers I know declined judgeships when offered because they believed that they would not have the patience to sit and listen to lawyers for four to five hours a day. But here is a judge who, despite our harassing him uh, by repetitive uh, arguments, was always able to smile. Third is legal knowledge. And this is what uh, Chief Justice Dixon uh, said. And legal knowledge is read his judgments. I don't have to say anything more. Patience. And that would go with equanimity. And lastly, common sense. And which, according to me, he possesses in abundance. But of all that five qualities, there is one thing which uh, Chief Justice uh, Dixon has missed. And that is compassion. And in India, being a welfare state, I think this is one of the most important uh, uh, the qualities to be possessed by a judge of the Supreme Court and the High Court and even of the subordinate courts. We are a welfare state with at least 200 million people living below the poverty line. And I think compassion is most important. And what Justice Bhushan will be remembered for, for a very long time to come, is his compassion for the poor, for the underprivileged, and those who have suffered deprivation. And uh, I remember watching the television, the long procession of migrant workers, leading little children who were uh, uh, able to walk for miles because they had no choice. The mothers carrying huge loads on their head, as much as the husbands and fathers also. And uh, all these were the entire belongings of these. They're so pitiable. And practically, uh, tears would uh, come to one's eyes. But the Supreme Court came to the rescue. Ashok, Justice Ashok Bhushan displayed compassion for the horrendous weight of these thousands and thousands of migrant workers taking suomotive cognizance, directing the central government to allocate and distribute food grains to the migrant laborers, directing the states to frame a scheme for distribution of dry ration and to run till the pandemic continues, as long as the pandemic continues. Community kitchens for migrant laborers. What more could one think of that one could do but to give solace to these poor people? He was a party to some of the most uh, Outstanding judgments delivered by the Supreme Court relating to religion, the Sabrimala judgment, then the Ayodhya land dispute bringing to a close, a long battle, the other case, and what more, what is more, permitting passive euthanasia among other, I mean, others. And this is a tremendous uh, forward looking judgment. A recent judgment uh, delivered by him recommended expiation assistance for families of those who have lost a loved one in the COVID-19 pandemic. And there's no doubt that this judgment would take the lives of thousands and thousands of persons who have suffered great loss and are struggling on account of the pandemic. That's why I had said earlier at the ceremonial farewell function that we are losing an excellent judge and I feel sad about it. We can only wish him many, many more years, decades of good health, prosperity, and happiness. Thank you. Mr. Justice N.B. Ramanna, Honorable Chief Justice of India, Mr. K.K. Benu Gopal, Learned Attorney General for India, Mr. P.H. Parekh, six time President of SCBA and ten times President of AOR Association, our colleagues who are connected with us and witnessing this memorable and great occasion. We all are here to bid a grand farewell to Justice Asok Bhushan, who is going to have a new journey of his life, leaving behind the steps of his remarkable journey as Justice of Supreme Court of India. Honorable Justice Bhushan was born in a village of Jaunpur, Uttar Pradesh, in the house of Sri Chandramar Prasad Srivastava and Srimati Kalavati Srivastava. Sri Chandramar Prasad has six children, three sons and three daughters. Justice Bhushan is eldest among all. He is soft-spoken, firm, dedicated, and he is absolutely dedicated towards his duties 
an extraordinary listener, a wonderful leader of the bar and an upright judge who encouraged junior lawyers, lady members and deprived class of society. None of the junior lawyers went empty handed from his court, either they got patient hearing or they got good learning. He had always delivered the verdict movingly and brilliantly without the evils of inequality and discrimination, without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Justice Bhushan was senior vice president of Allahabad High Court Bar Association. He served as chairman of Higher Judicial Service Committee also in Allahabad High Court. Justice Bhushan has been a very firm judge with a strong conviction and beliefs. I remember a matter of Chief Secretary of UP in relation to Noida land a scam in which I was appearing for the state of UP. Justice Bhushan was sitting in a bench as newly appointed judge presided by Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court, Justice A. N. Ray. We got the judgment of A. N. Ray first, which was completely in favor of Chief Secretary Neera Yadav. However, to our utter surprise, Justice Bhushan delivered a dissenting judgment that shows the courage of a young and important, honest judge. I observed that despite the judgment, Justice Bhushan was the choice of Justice Ray to be part of his bench and that remains for his entire tenure. Ever since assuming the office, Justice Bhushan believed and practiced his oath. That means whether all those up to what threats are absent or present, the judge must be blind to prejudice. He must be impartial, fair and balanced with true appreciation of the common humanity in the process to ensure equality before law. Justice Bhushan always believed in a court. In life, there is no rehearsal. Each day, a new show. No stakes, no retakes, no reviews, no give to our best sort in all your worthy acts as the show goes on. I quote a Sanskrit sloka Yasya Krittanang Bignanti Sita Vishnu Bhairati Samridhasra Mridu Dharvasayave Pandit Uchyate. One whose task is never hindered by cold, heat, fear, love, prosperity, or lack of it, really superior. The behavior and conduct inside and outside the court was always exemplary. Justice Bhushan always treated members of the bar as his own family and that makes him darling of the bar. I recall his elevation as Chief Justice of Kerala High Court when he was leaving Allahabad by train. A huge gathering of lawyers at railway station gathered to see him which was normally unseen in the history of Allahabad. During the pandemic, nation witnessed him as a common man's judge. He addressed the voice of underprivileged during a period of unprecedented difficulties and challenge during the pandemic. He has not only delivered the judgment for the rights of migrant workers, but his judgments makes him a person who sits in the elite, but his heart beats for the justice. His judgment provided a big relief to the persons who were the victims of COVID-19. The judgment dictates to grant financial relief to the family members of persons who passed away due to COVID-19. Justice Bhushan has recently in a matter provided XVC assistance to the victims of COVID-19 and redefined Section 12 of National Disaster Management Act. In terms of the duty of national authority providing guidelines for a minimum standard of relief and held that National Disaster Management Authority is statutorily mandated to provide minimum standards of relief, including exvesia to COVID-19 victims. We have seen many persons sitting in the capacity or authority does not know or do not know the sufferings of common men, but considering the situation and necessity of the common man. Justice Bhushan has ordered for the refund of the fares of which of air fares and train fares which was paid on account of advance booking and got, got cancelled due to the lockdown. He was universally admired and held in great affection by all who knew him. Swasmai Swakalpang Samaj Sarvaswa It means a little bit of yourself and everything for other. I always get inspired from the powerful words of Justice Asok Bhushan. I remember his words from a speech he delivered in a judges and lawyers conference at Lucknow in 2017. God had chosen us for Solomon and higher duties to which we had to respond with our fullest capabilities. 
the period allotted to us to work though appears to be long of several years, but since the time flies quickly, we should utilize each and every moment of accomplish the task given. At the end of the day of leaving our office, there should be no feeling of regret that we had some more time allotted to us, we should have been able to do more work with more efficiency and perfection. It is the present moment in which we have to perform and give our best to the society. That is evident from the working of this honorable court in the pandemic time. Chapter 5 of Bhagavad Gita course Na Kritatvang Na Karmadi Lokasya Srijavi Prabhu Na Karmphal Sanyoga Sabhavastu Pravartate which means the Lord neither created the door nor activities of people nor the connection between the activities and their fruits but one's own nature prevails. Likewise, the action of Justice Bhushan clearly reflect his belief throughout his distinguished career as a judge. He heard several key cases and been part of various important and landmark judgments. He was one of the members of five judge constitution bench that rendered a unanimous verdict in Ayodhya dispute. It was Justice Bhushan who extended the definition and the scope of punishment in the cases of sexual harassment and rape while delivering, delivering the Nirbhaya verdict. In 2017, he was part of a division bench judgment in which they upheld validity of section 139AA subsection 1 of income tax law amendment which provides that linking PAN with Aadhaar for filing tax return and making Aadhaar or Aadhaar enrollment slip compulsory to apply for a PAN number. In this difficult time of pandemic, Justice Asok Bhushan played a key role and issued salient orders of people who have faith on our judicial system. In a judgment passed by division bench led by Justice Bhushan ordered the states across the country to distribute dry rations to extended migrant workers without ration card and run community kitchen. The fine judgments that are authored by Justice Bhushan speak for itself about the dedication with which he carried on his constitutional duty while remaining conscious of social realities on the ground. I remember Justice Bhushan speech in a OR lecture uh, series in Supreme Court where he appropriately quoted the belief of inspiration. The essence of dharma is the beautiful blend of law, righteousness and, uh, and justice. I am sure that even after retirement he would always be anxious to lend his helping hand wherever judiciary requires his services. Great is the art of beginning, but greater is the art of ending and Justice Bhushan has concluded his significant role and responsibility in Indian judiciary by discharging his constitutional obligation which high spirit, with high spirit and strength. Whenever we short time of the Lordship for any issues relating to the bar, despite the scare of COVID-19, Lordship not only granted us time but welcomed us as a family member that spirit makes the relationship of bar and bench stronger. In his family, there are 10 practicing advocates other than him, including his son Adarsh Bhushan practicing in the Allahabad High Court. His daughter Srimati Smriti Bhushan is a laparoscopic surgeon at Ames, but he was a great help in the pandemic time for the, all the members of the bar. I acknowledge the presence of Adarsh Bhushan and Ismriti Bhushan in this uh, gathering. Anil Bhaiya, who is the younger brother of uh, Justice Bhushan, is a uh, senior advocate of Allahabad High Court. When it comes to talk to Justice Bhushan as a younger brother, he fails to utter a single word. We wish all the best to the entire Bhushan family. Judges judge the bar during the tenure and bar judges the judge at the time of demitting the office. A large number of senior advocates from all over the country had approached us to inquire if the farewell function of Justice Bhushan was supposed to be physical, then they should be in, uh, informed in advance so that they can fly to Delhi. However, in the last moment, it was decided that it will be a virtual farewell. And the same is being offered by uh, various news channels and various social media platforms. A huge presence of members of the bar on various online platform is the judgment of the bar on Justice Bhushan. My Lord Justice Bhushan has got 
100 out of 100 as per the bar's judgment as a judge. I certainly on behalf of each and every member of the bar can say that we are going to miss his presence in the compound of Supreme Court. Sir, you may have demitted the office, but this bar is not going to leave you. We seek your valuable guidance in the years to come. My special thanks to each and every member of my e-committee who made this program success in the Supreme Court premises and also this news channel which is organizing this kind of grand farewell to one of the leading judge of Supreme Court. Justice Ashok Bhushan has retired as a judge of Supreme Court. He was a senior judge of Supreme Court. Justice uh, Ashok Bhushan uh, was very much liked by the members of the bar. In fact, when a judge retires, the judgment is delivered by not judges but by the lawyers and the advocates practicing in the Supreme Court gave them an excellent, uh, excellent marks to Justice Ashok Bhushan as being an extra excellent judge of the Supreme Court. He gave the hearing to all the members of the bar. No lawyer went, came from his court with an impression that he was not properly heard by the judge. He also gave uh, excellent judgments and we, we, the, 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 uh, it is very important because the Supreme Court judgments are the final judgments of the country, all the high courts and everywhere else, the Supreme Court judgments are binding and therefore a judge who writes a Supreme Court judgment has a lot of responsibility and uh, Justice Ashok Bhushan di uh, did this extremely well. We, uh, we will be very much missing him, in fact he was earlier a judge of Allahabad High Court then he was the Chief Justice of Kerala High Court and then he was in Supreme Court and all the Supreme Court lawyers were extremely happy ab about his performance. He was uh, uh, very uh, humble, he always heard all the lawyers properly, he also asked the questions to the lawyers. It is very important for a judge to discuss and ask the questions to the judges because sometimes if the judge does not tell the court what is passing in their mind, then the lawyer will not be able to make arguments. And in his case, uh, there, and when I, I talked to a large number of lawyers, all of them said that we, we, we are missing Justice Ashok Bhushan. We wish him all the best and uh, he, uh, we, the, the final uh, version uh, uh, is given by the bar at the end of the, uh, the, the, the judge retires and I can say that uh, uh, the bar gives him 100 out of 100 marks to Justice Ashok Bhushan. We wish him all the best and to his, he and his family all the best after his retirement. Justice N. V. Ravanna, Honorable the Chief Justice, Sri K. K. Venugopal, London Attorney General for India, Sri P. H. Parikh, President of Confederation, Sri Pradeep Kumar Rai, Vice President of Supreme Court Bar Association, ladies and gentlemen. I am grateful to Mr. P. H. Parikh, the President of Federation of Indian Bar and other members for kind, for kind words spoken. The sentiment so graciously expressed and the good wishes so generously offered on my completing the tenure at the Supreme Court. I am grateful to Confederation of Indian Bar to give me this opportunity to be with you this evening. After 13th May 2016, when I joined the bench of Supreme Court, I have religiously attended each and every function organized by Confederation in honor of retiring judge of the Supreme Court. I had also an opportunity to preside a function organized by Confederation in honor of Justice A.K. Sikri, with whom I sat on the bench for a very long period of about two years. Mr. Parikh is the first senior advocate of the Supreme Court with whom I had opportunity to interact on personal level after my joining the bench of the Supreme Court. He had always been affectionate and helping to me. My tenure in the Supreme Court of India has been most rewarding. I had an opportunity of a lifetime, a privilege beyond description, to serve the cause of justice alongside the finest judges of the nation. I have no regrets whatsoever, no grudges whatsoever, just beautiful memories which I am going to cherish 
throughout the rest of my life. Law is like a sword. It cuts through the injustice that deceives people and sever the causes that inflict unfair sufferings on them. Like a shield, it is stoutly protect from hardship and unexpected troubles people encounter. And like a map, it shows as where we are and direct the way forward. We, the lawyers and judges, belong to enlightened class of the society. God has chosen us to be in this class for a purpose. The purpose is to take care and guide those sections of society who are not that privileged as we are. We should always remind ourselves about our duties to the society and the nation. I appeal to the lawyers community, especially young lawyers, to cultivate composed wisdom to correct injustice, warm compassion and empathy towards others and determine a spirit to achieve victory for justice. The true spirit of legal profession is fighting for others' happiness, for the welfare of ordinary people and for justice. When we start dispensing justice with such a spirit, society is destined to change for the better. To the junior members of the bar, I say that there is enough room at the top of the profession, though the profession is crowded at the bottom. To rise to the top in the profession, one has to work hard. I have no doubt that within some of the junior members of the bar, here there is enough potential which will manifest itself in course of time. Prosperity of an excellent performance by the junior members of the bar has always been my fond hope. On the bench, I had good fortune of receiving nothing but consideration, courtesy and respect from all of you. I am one of those who believe that the credit for an erudite judgment does not belong to the judge alone, but also to the lawyers whose assistance at the bar has enabled him to display erudition in his judgment. I am proud that I had an opportunity to enter into intellectual debate with the stalwarts of the Supreme Court bar in the course of hearing matters in the court, which I always regard as a treat for me, which gave both pleasure and satisfaction and enlightenment and enlightened me in discharge of my duties as a judge of this court. Law is the guardian of two most precious things in the world, justice and liberty. Daniel Webster, the great legendary American lawyer, said, I quote, Justice is the great interest of man on earth. It is the ligament which holds civilized nations together. Wherever a temple stands and so long as it is duly honored, there is a foundation for social security general happiness and improvement and progress of our race. Whoever labors on this edifice with usefulness and distinction, whoever cleanses its foundation, strengthens its pillars or, or contribute to raise its august dome is still higher in the skies, connect himself in the name, fame and character with that which is and must be as the frame of a human society." Unquote. All of us have to continue to all labor to raise the august dome of the edifice. Once more, I thank you all for your unfailing kindness and for what it is worth offered to members of the bar and particularly younger members of the bar on whom the future of this court so much depends. My most sincere good wishes. I end my address by quoting the few lines of Brihat Kathopanishad which are very dear to me, translated in English, I quote, You are what as is your strong desire. As is your desire, so is your will. As is your will, so is your deed. As is your deed, so is your luck. Thank you, Jain.